Hello squaddies, how are you all doing? I trust that each and every single one of you is doing great and you're happy. So thank you for joining us again on this episode of Brian Squaddies. And today, I want us to talk about how heartbreaking things must be for King Charles right now. Imagine receiving rejection after rejection, blows after blows. And this is on your special day, which you have probably been waiting for your whole life. And right now, when uh, he wants to be crowned, all these stars reject to come to his event. No one wants to be associated with King Charles. No one wants to be associated with the kind of things that he's doing. So people are staying away. People are running away from King Charles. And it's not like what these tabloids tell us. It's not what they tell us. They tell us that King Charles and Camilla are popular. But according to what I see, people don't like them. People don't want to be associated with them. And even... uh. King Charles' ring for the king challenge hampered by lack of volunteers, by which they required like 8,000 new recruits. But only like I saw somewhere that only 300 people actually volunteered. So what does that tell you? People don't want to be associated with these hypocritical people. People have known that King Charles and Camilla are just hypocrites. So when I read this article saying that King Charles' coronation concert hit with a blow as Elton John, Harry Styles, and the Spice Girls all turned down a slot to perform in the star-studded lineup. I was like, oh yes, finally. They were actually waiting on Harry Styles to confirm if he was coming to uh, the King's coronation. And finally, Harry Styles has jetted it. He says that he'll actually be busy that day. And that seems to be like the word that every person that doesn't want to attend that coronation is saying. Because people are just tired of these people. People are tired of their hypocrisy. Harry Styles, after being named the musician of the day, is not actually going to perform. That tells you how boring that event will be. Oh yes, and I almost forgot even that Adele and Ed Sheeran had actually declined to also attend the coronation they turned down the invitation to attend this coronation and king charles was heartbroken because he actually wanted them to attend it so i can't imagine receiving all these other three rejections what king charles is feeling right now but he deserves all this doesn't he after everything that he's done he deserves this these people don't deserve to actually rule our people they are making a mockery out of these taxpayers. Especially for the actions that they've been continuing to do. It's just a complete mockery. What do you mean you married your mistress? What do you mean you treated your own wife the way King Charles treated Diana? And then you continue to do the same thing to your own son who decided to marry a biracial woman? Who does the kind of things that King Charles has done? And all these were completely and utterly influenced by this evil, vile woman called Camilla. That's a fact. I don't think anyone can deny what Camilla has done. She is an evil woman. So most of the things that Charles has actually done have been controlled by Camilla. She is the one who's behind King Charles. Who actually is in King Charles' ears telling him what to do. She is the one controlling King Charles. So they should just tell us once and for all if this monarchy is actually being controlled by King Charles or Camilla because from my point of view, I see this as a complete control by Camilla. I see as though Camilla is the one who's going to control uh, this monarchy. If I may ask, why did Elton John actually reject? Oh, I now remember. It's because he's a friend to... Harry and Meghan, and he was a friend to Princess Diana. So there's no way he was going to betray his friendship 
for these two amazing people or three amazing people and go and perform for these hypocrites. There's no way he was going to do that. Thank God Harry Styles made himself very busy at that time to avoid entertaining uh, these so-called royal family. And for Spice Girls, they actually said last month that they would go back together for the concert. But now it seems like they've, they've turned down the performance. They were to attend last time, but I, I guess see, for them to see that every other great musician was turning down this concert, they also decided to say, why not us? They declined the invite. So thank God they're actually doing this. Thank God they're distancing themselves from these royal suckers. And it's time for the royal family to actually read the room. Because apart from the diehard royalist supporters, who actually shocked me by the way, because no one wants these two wasting hundreds of millions of pounds to have hats put on their heads when people are struggling to keep their heads above the water. Who actually entertains seeing King Charles being crowned and Camilla being crowned while for them to be seated on these golden thrones or whatever while people in the UK are struggling. I usually say I don't have to live in the UK to actually say that people are struggling. The economy is in crisis. People are struggling. People are struggling to even eat and hit their homes. It's a real struggle everywhere right now in the world. And for them to actually make a mockery of that, for them to even say that Queen Consort Camilla was wearing a 33,000 pound brooch, I just see all this as mockery. How do you actually do that when people that you're serving are struggling this way? People are going through hard times. And you're using their taxpayer money for all these luxurious stuff this annoys me very very much but the world is actually changing as of right now people are seeing evil from good people can actually see the clear difference between evil and good and they can see that the raw family are not the so-called angels that they've always been portrayed as they're not good people and thank God Harry has actually revealed that. Because if, I, if it were not for Harry, maybe we'd still be in the dark. Seeing things that are not actually true. So thank God Harry made us see what's right in front of us. The racism that runs within the royal family is the evil thing that I'm talking about. The leaking of stories to the press by the royal family about their own family member is the evilness that I'm talking about. These people don't care about each other, don't, don't care, not even a bit, about Harry and his kids. So that's the evilness that I'm talking about. And the good thing that I'm talking about is that Harry takes care of his family. He's willing to do anything for his family. And if that means stepping on the royal family, then, then let it be. Because we actually don't care. These people have shown us enough. They've shown us the things that they've done. And the fact that they don't even care to hide like the association with the press or whatever they've been doing is just disgusting. It's completely disgusting. How does Camille actually go and dine with all these people that have been mocking Harry and Meghan and still want to tell us that Harry and Meghan are so much loved members of the royal family how do they actually get the guts to do that because i don't understand at least they should just stop pretending for one minute for christ's sake camilla should should actually stop pretending she is a friend to all these people and i bet she likes what they do she likes when they abuse women she laughs with them and even tells them what to write or what to say this woman is evil and i'm thinking all this rejection is because of Camilla's inclusion in the coronation. People don't like her. People have seen her for whom she truly is. And she's not as loved as what the media would like to tell us. Camilla is not loved. People know her. People, people have seen her for whom she is. So these Brits are actually speaking out loud and clear. Or at least these others who have actually decided to see the light. 
the likes of all these uh, famous people who declined to attend the coronation, these are the people that were actually seeing, standing up and saying that they don't want to attend this coronation or they don't want any part to do with this monarchy. And I applaud them. I just congratulate them for what they've done. And it's really funny how everybody all of a sudden develops scheduling conflicts when they are called to, to participate in these ridiculous events. And it makes you wonder if people really have or still trust the monarchy. Well, from my point of view, I don't think people still trust the monarchy. Or at least, people don't trust Charles. I see that people are seeing uh, who is actually behind the wheels, who's actually controlling all these things. And it's not Charles, it's Camilla. We can all see that. And I can tell you why people are even losing trust in this monarchy. Because being turned down left, right and center for his all-important two new gold thrones. And then getting booze and petaled with eggs in the streets. It's just humiliating for King Charles. Imagine being a ruler and people throw eggs at you and still people boo at you and then people even reject you. What does this tell you as a leader? I just see this as though people are saying we don't trust you. We don't want this monarchy. And for these celebrities, I think any excuse will work for them when they're trying to avoid being associated with their royal family because no one wants to be associated with such kind of people, people who are racist, people who don't care about other people. Nobody wants to be associated with um, a family who alienate their own son. At least people love their families. At least people don't throw their own grandchildren or, uh, or their own son or their own daughter-in-laws to the wolves. They actually protect them from such. So the royal family has just shown a, a very different side of things. They've shown us that they're not a family. All this is just business to them. And it's just all shame on them. And they deserve every little thing that is coming to them. And I'm just seeing all this as karma right now. Karma is just playing its part so hard right now. And King Charles and Camilla can't run away from this because everyone sooner or later will have to suffer the consequences of their doing so Camilla and Charles right now are suffering for what they did or what they are continuing to do and the list even grows longer for the people who don't like the monarchy or people who are actually turning their heads away from the monarchy people are actually saying they are fed up with this royalty all people are actually the same, no matter the color or where you come from. People are the same. Despite what the royal family is trying to tell us. They're trying to tell people that your skin color makes you different from other people. Racism is evil and a person should not be hated because of how God made them. It was not by choice how God, how uh, you actually came to this earth. It was not by choice. It's all God's will. And thank God, the Sussex squad is made up of people of all colors and all genders. And I love that. It's because we represent love. So may we continue fighting for this love because we know that always love will win. Love will always win. So let's continue fighting for this, for what we know is true. May God bless each and every single one of you, Sussex squad. And... Let's continue praying for Harry and Meghan and their kids. And before I end this podcast, what do you think about this a rejection that King Charles is actually receiving on his day of the coronation? What do you think about it? I, for me, I just think that it's a complete humiliation on King Charles' um, monarchy or King Charles' reign. I just see this as a complete humiliation. So what do you think about it? Let me know your opinions on the comment section. And, and hopefully I'll see you all on the next podcast. Have a great day. Be blessed. And please remember to subscribe for those who haven't subscribed. So till I see you all on the next podcast, have a great, great day. Goodbye and I love you all.